Ever wondered how top chess players handle a tough day at chessboard? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm your grandmaster in this YouTube channel and today my friends we will watch three games that have taken place so far in 2024 Chess Olympiad. In these games we will see three top players who either lost or drew in some of their worst games ever. It seems it was not their day and this is teaches us that we will not always win or perform well. Sometimes we lose and that's part of the sport and our learning process as athletes striving for greatness and success. Watch this video and feel free to share in the comments below what you have learned. Let's get started. So the first game was a game between Anas Kahawiaria, yes, some, something like this, uh, from Jordan against Shahariar Mamidyarov. You can see the difference between the ratings. Mamidyarov has 2,733 against Anas that has almost 2,000. So something around 730 points of rating. Wow. Let's see the game. D4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, Mamid Yarov is playing the Nimso Indian defense. a3, bishop takes, b takes, and knight c6. f3 was played, white wants to play the move e4 and develop like bishop d3, bishop g5, knight e2, something around this, and of course to be in the center with the pawns. d5 was played, c takes d5, e takes d5, e3. Very logical with bishop d3, knight e2, castle and I don't know, rook a2, bishop b2, something like this. A lot of variations like this. This rook is coming to f2 somewhere. I don't know, maybe knight g3 first and after this rook f2 and bishop b2 with e4. Something about this I remember, but let's see what happened. So bishop f5 was played, knight e2, because bishop d3 it's not feeling well because just replacing and exchanging the bishops. Knight e2 was played, h5, knight g3, bishop g6, and now bishop to d3. You know, Chesscom is telling us, oh, it was not an accurate move, but for me, I can tell you that it very makes sense because you want to push somewhere e4 and bishop d3, you know, helps it, right? So after bishop d3, the best move here is to take the bishop, queen takes and h4, and after knight e2, h3. Let's see what is uh, what was in the game. h4 was played, knight e2, maybe here also knight f5 should be interesting because the pawn on g7, but yeah, maybe queen d7, queen d7, knight g7, just king f8, and this knight is just uh, lost, right? So yeah, maybe knight e2 was a better option, like he played in the game. The Jordan um, player, yeah, great. Bishop takes d3, queen takes d3, and castle. And now... Just castle, yeah. Maybe in this position was better h3, I don't know, maybe queen d7 with long castle. But yeah, just Mami Diarov is doing a castle, castle back, rook e8 because e4 was the threat. And now he's playing the move rook a2. Knight a5, knight a4. It seems like the rook will come to e2 and push e4. c5, rook e2. Knight b3, bishop b2, also as you can see, this bishop is doing a great job here to control the pawn on d4, and now e4 is already a threat. Queen d6, as you can see, avoiding e4 because the knight on f4 will be uh, just lost. Rook f e1, another very nice move, I think, overall, until now, Anas from Jordan is playing just amazing, right? Just developing his pieces, playing really regular moves. Let's see what happens. So, c takes d4 was played, c takes d4, knight a5, it seems like Mami Diarov is bringing the knight to a better uh, square on c4, bishop c3, knight c4, bishop b4, as you can see also Anas is developing his bishop and improving his position, queen c6, and now e4 is coming. And ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Mami Diarov has a very big troubles here. 
e5, e6, you know, white is pushing. d takes e4, f takes e4. In the 24 move in the game, it seems like Mami Diarov has a big troubles here against, you know, just we can say that almost a beginner against Mami Diarov, right? 730 points. It's unbelievable for me, at least. Let's see. Rook a d8, and now he played the move knight to d5. Just amazing move, amazing tactic. Wow. After knight takes d5, the point is that it takes d5, and that's it. The game is over. Queen takes d5, just winning a rook, full rook, and checkmate on the board. And after queen d7, just, I don't know, just taking everything, right? And take here, that's it. White is piece up against Mami Diarov. Knight d5, a brilliant move. Knight h5 was played, now rook c2, as you can see this fight is bad for the queen here. And now after b5, I think at least, yeah, knight d7, rook takes, bishop takes, and yeah, exchange up. Also in this position, I'm not sure, oh yeah, rook c2 was played because knight d7 here just takes, takes, and knight f4. Don't forget this one, right? So rook c2 was a clever idea, rook c8, and now knight d7, this position is just totally lost for Mami Diarov, unbelievable. I do not remember any time in my life, uh, you know, watching Mami Diarov against 2000 rating in this position, just losing absolutely. Knight f4 was played, queen f1, knight g6, attacking the bishop on e7, and now he's coming back to b4. b5 was played, rook f2, queen d7, just bishop c5, controlling the pawn on d4. Yeah, just amazing position to, to play with the white pieces, just winning absolutely. Queen e2 h3 g3 uh, queen h5 knight c5 rook e f1 and yeah it seems like the game is over just d takes e5 i don't know rook c5 rook f7 for me at least it should be winning right something around this takes takes i don't know looking winning rook queen f5 was played also very strong knight g4 just take take rook e2 yeah exchange up the position should be lose a uh, loss of course for black yeah, and they're doing some moves. The king is coming into the game. Um, and this position, after knight f3, Shaharyar Mamidyarov is just offering a draw. Can you believe it? Shaharyar Mamidyarov offering a draw in this position against Anas with 2,000 rating from Jordan. It's unbelievable. What can you tell me about this? What do you think about it? It's possible, Mami Diarov, first round of Chess Olympia 2024, four board in Azerbaijan, is drew against 2000. Unbelievable. But the conclusion, I will talk about it in the end of the video. Let's see the next round. This was Anish Giri in, I think, the third round of Chess Olympia 2024. Lorenzo Lodisi against Anish Giri. Uh, from Italia, Lorenzo, of course, Grandmasters and against Anish Giri, one of the best players in the world. From Netherlands, let's see how it goes. D4, Nf6, C4, E6, Knight, C3, Bishop, B4, the Nimzo Indian defense, like Mami Diarov. E3 was played, B6, Bishop, D3, Bishop, B7, Knight, G, E2, and he's just... Telling Anish, you know what? Take the pawn on g2. It's not necessary for me. Bishop takes g2, rook g1, bishop f3, and now rook g3. It seems that maybe it was a preparation. I think yes. Yeah, of course, he's attacking the bishop on f3. Bishop takes c3 was played, b takes, and now bishop e4. Very uh, accuracy, I think. Overall, he's understand, he understands that this bishop is very strong and you need to replace it and exchange it here on e4. So queen c2 was played, take, take, and now knight h5, rook h3, g6, and e4. As you can see, Lorenzo is playing with his hand and just have a very big initiative in this position without a pawn but as you can see this bishop is open for bishop h6 and also maybe avoiding castle and also knight g3 is coming the pawns are doing just perfect job in the center let's see how it goes d6 knight g3 knight takes queen takes with uh, you know maybe the point of to play bishop g5 or bishop h6 with some initiative here f6 was played bishop h6 now bishop g7 is the threat to attack this rook on h8 and also rook h7 right so rook g8 was played and now e5 
another very strong move in the opening only 70 moves and you are playing against this king these both of the kings are in the center of the board and e5 is going for it is want want just to beat anishgiri no respect ladies and gentlemen no respect only win only fight let's see it 97 was played long castle amazing just amazing wow queen e7 e takes f6 knight x bishop g5 this diagonal this pin is very not easy to handle now queen f3 is a threat with double threat right so yeah big troubles 94 was played now bishop takes e7 94 was a blunder i don't know what to play here maybe rook f8 just uh, to to defend this knight but it looks very bad i don't know how queen h4 rook f3 i don't know how black can survive here um looks terrible 94 was played bishop takes knight g3 a f takes g3 takes rook h7 and now rook f1 and yeah the game is over rook is coming to f7 and winning absolutely uh, easy takes takes now rook h e7 king b2 takes takes and in this position after king b3 anish giri resigned the game against lorenzi lord dc just unbelievable game by the italian grandmaster i can tell you that you know for anish it's only one game but for Lorenzo Lodossi, it's dream came true. Unbelievable win against Anish Giri, one of the best players in the world. Let's go for the last interesting and, you know, surprising game. Titas Stremevicius. I can tell you that I played against him maybe 16 years ago when I played uh, one world champion champ championship uh, tournament until age of eight, probably and eight or ten and i won against him so let's see how he is winning against vincent camber one of the best youngest players in the world d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight f3 h6 by camber let's see g3 bishop b4 bishop d2 bishop e7 bishop g2 d5 queen c2 castle castle c6 this is the catalan in a very interesting uh, line here with h6 rook d1 uh, bishop f4 a5 knight c3 looks until now very logical b6 uh, just to bring the bishop to a6 or to b7 knight e5 was played attacking the pawn on c6 of course and knight takes d takes and c takes d5 and e4 is attacking with all his power now d4 was played very clever move by vincent kamer just bringing the pawn and after rook takes d4 g5 attacking the bishop just saying you know what just go away bishop e3 and now bishop c5 queen e2 you know such moves by titas from lithuania just amazing you know um what can i tell you for me it's something one time in a life right it's just amazing he's attacking the rook and white is telling you know what i don't need it i understand that this bishop on c5 is a better piece than my rook on d4 just take it i don't need it queen e2 amazing move it's not a brilliant it's just perfect perfect ladies and gentlemen no way wow let's see queen e8 was played rook d2 now you know was a brilliant move rook d6 another time to to put this rook uh, in attack right bishop takes d6 just e takes with e5 knight b5 sorry yeah knight b5 knight c7 just amazing position but yeah he played the move rook d2 bishop a6 now queen d1 knight takes e5 takes takes and f4 uh, is looking for attack you know um, the grandmaster from lithuania is telling you know what i will crush him and it's just amazing to see knight c4 rook f2 knight e3 queen f3 takes f takes g5 another very strong move because this knight on g4 and g2 of course is trapped h takes g5 e5 amazing knight e4 knight f6 you know what you're just playing perfect rook b8 knight e4 you know this knight on g2 is not necessary for for, for white just winning f5 e takes f6 bishop b7 rook takes g2 now queen g6 rook e2 and c4 was played a very uh, you know an accuracy here after bishop e4 this was the best rook takes i don't know rook takes f6 or queen takes yeah probably rook, queen takes uh, with queen takes queen take rook takes of course b3 rook e1 rook e5 some troubles here of course but 
looks maybe that Vincent will do a draw here. But C4 was a mistake. Now Rook F1 bringing the last piece into the game. Bishop E4, Rook takes, Rook takes B2, Rook takes E6. This position is just lost. After uh, Rook takes F7, of course, Rook E8, and this this is the game over. Um, so he played here the King H8, and now Queen C3, check. And of course, after Queen G7, Rook H6, checkmate on the board. So after Queen C3, Vincent Kemmer resigned the game against the Grandmaster from Lithuanian, Titas uh, Stremivicius. Stremavicius, yes. So, it's unbelievable game, you know, three games in a row that we saw surprising results and this is part of chess. So first of all, that I really want you to learn this, this all the opponents in the world can play fantastic games, right? It's something that happened, of course, and you need to, to be calm with it. No one will say, you You know what, every player that you are better uh, from him in the opening, in the middle game or the end game or also in the rating, it's not matter, right? You need to play chess. And if you're losing a game against someone that, you know, below your rating, it's something that, fine, you need to learn how to lose, okay? It's very complicated and it's not so easy to handle, but you know what? This is the best sportsman to lose and to learn from it and to say, you know what? It's, it's healthy for me, okay? I, I like to lose to learn and improve my skills. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, don't forget to like this and you know subscribe my channel for more chess content every day i'm uploading two or three or four chess contents here in the Olymp olympiad 2024 thank you very much and see you soon bye bye